today's video, I will be selling $15,000 in Yu-Gi-Oh cards and boxes and stuff like that. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video where I will be showing you guys some stuff I have for sale. So the places you can buy this stuff, you can contact me via email, you can message me on Instagram, you can check out my whatnot or my website, ruxon34.com. All those are options for places to buy. So those are the places you can buy stuff. Before we actually do that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Uriah, Haman, and Raviel. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite item we have for sale, and let's get into it. All right, so long story short on this sale, why are we doing this sale normally that means we're buying something big well we are but it's not necessarily a Yu-Gi-Oh purchase you know we recently bought this house it was very expensive and now my car is getting old it's over 200,000 miles and I need that car you know we got to go to the post office you got to go other places so I need to replace it so we're not going to get too much into that but I want you guys to know if you guys are purchasing anything or supporting the channel uh, t today or anytime after this, it'll be going toward a car. So I really appreciate you guys, first of all, for helping us move it in this new house. I've already said this before, but it's been great. It's been awesome. I have a lot more space to record. It's really awesome. Like to put all my stuff. There's not, well, there is stuff piled everywhere, but not as much stuff piled everywhere, at least not right next to me. And I can like walk around. It's really great. And I also appreciate you guys supporting, uh, the, trying to get this new car. So let's just get into the items. I know I've babbled long enough, but I, I feel like it's a bit cooler if you know where, you know, what you're supporting when you buy it, stuff like that. So Let's show you guys what I have for sale. Today's video is sponsored by Whatnot. Whatnot is a live auction platform where you can buy items at auction. You can do buy it nows. You can check out the marketplace. You can even become a seller. I've done a lot of streams over there and we will be doing another one coming up this Friday at 5 p.m. Central. We're opening the brand new Phantom Nightmare Yu-Gi-Oh set. And yes, we should have the product this time, unlike Maze of Millennia. These streams are always a ton of fun. You can come check them out by clicking my link down below. You get $15 free credit if you use that link and it's your first time on Whatnot. Make sure to click that link search my name ruxa 34 and then bookmark my streams in the future we have one coming up this friday and then one in two weeks opening a big first edition lob box i hope you guys are there and no you don't have to buy something to be there and watch the stream so if you just want to see us open the new phantom nightmare set open a first edition lob box and other stuff we've done such as opening the first 11 sets ever we've done some pretty amazing stuff on whatnot you just have to go there and watch it's just like watching on youtube except you have the opportunity to buy something that i'm opening or buy something that i'm selling so make sure to bookmark my streams and get $15 free credit down below before you sign up. Thanks again to Whatnot for sponsoring this video. So we'll start with the raw cards. I have a very few raw cards. We have a VLP Yada Garasu. So this thing is VLP, which is very lightly played between light play and near mint. It's pretty close to near mint. It's a very nice card. I'll show you guys everything so you guys know what you're getting. Really could be and probably would be considered near mint by a lot of people. I'm not going to lie. I don't remember why I had this at VLP over near mint. I think it's the slight scuffing and maybe there's like a corner or something. I'm not seeing much. I mean, it must be the scuffing. There is a little bit visible there. So honestly, a pretty good condition Yada for VLP maybe even consider near mint so this one will be available i'm gonna have prices popping up so the price you see on the screen is what you will be able to buy it at some things i may or may not have a price there's a couple things i'm not sure how to price them or like i don't know exactly what they're worth but that one should be one of them you guys can see here's a vlp magic cylinder this one has a little bit more of a i don't know it's just kind of like weird edges i don't know maybe not even edges i don't even know how to describe it but there yeah there's that spot i mean this is also pretty clean could be probably considered near mint by some people it has some back scuffing has that spot centering i usually don't consider in, in condition of cards but uh it's not centered so keep that in mind it's not going to grade like very well then we have a this one i had is near mint but it's probably around the same condition as the other two near mint ultimate rare first edition thunder giant uh the edge top edge you can see a tiny bit of whitening there bottom has a little speck right there but honestly it's in pretty good shape it's not mint mint but it is probably near mint so very good condition there on the thunder giant that is also a card I have available. Then we have a Winged Dragon of Raw, the GBI Secret Rare. So it's it's a raw card. Raw, raw, very nice. Uh, looks pretty good. I haven't marked as lightly played. I wonder what the back is. Back does have a big scratch right there. It's not even really a scratch. It's kind of like an indent. You can really see it on these uh, game promos. It's a little bit easier to like get those sort of like scratches. They're not necessarily scratches, but they're big lines. So that's why I have that at LP. That's basically the big issue. Everything else is pretty clean. Front looks really good. So Wing Dragon of Raw, very cool. Then we have one that we pulled recently, a big goal of ours, the Dark Magician Ghost Rare. We hadn't pulled it in forever. Unfortunately for this one, it did not have great condition. You guys can see the back. It's got the bullet holes or whatever you want to call it. There's little dents on it all over the back. So I have this thing in mod play. 
Um, it's even warped a little bit. It's not super warped, but a little bit of warpage going on, which can be fixed by putting it under a book or something. But this card's still really nice, still really awesome. Unfortunately, it didn't come out in that gym mint 10 condition or even in near mint for us. Then we have some CGC cards. So I have a CGC 10 Time Wizard. So that's a reprint from 2017, not 25th anniversary, but also still a reprint in 2017. We have a Faded Song of the Thunder. This got an eight. Uh, these were all in really good condition, even if they got like eights. A lot of them because of the surface got bad because of the fading. Even they're, they're supposed to grade errors, but they didn't really. They called it an error, I guess, but didn't give it a great grade. So Sangha, it does have a little bit of scratching on this thing. That could be on. Actually, I think that's on the case. I remember getting a lot of these back like that. So that one's for sale. Faded stuff goes for crazy prices. So you'll have to make an offer on this. So I'm not going to have a price on it, but it's probably going to be. I think I sold a Harpy's Lady Sisters for like 400. So somewhere around there, probably. Same thing for the Suijin. The eight versus nine, they're not gonna make a huge difference on the grade. Nine's better, obviously, but when it comes to the faded stuff, they're probably gonna get cracked by the buyer a lot of time anyway. So they're gonna be around the same price. If you get both Suijin and Sangha, then maybe you get them both for the same amount or whatever. So this one's cool. Surface is pretty bad. Everything else is great. I just remember them giving Surface terrible grades on these for no reason. And then speaking of great grades, we have a Gem Mint 10 Kazijin. This was in the same lot. Somehow this gets a 10, they get nine and eight or whatever. But this one, uh, because it's a 10, I mean, that a 10 faded card is pretty hard to get. So this one, I don't really know. You're gonna have to make an offer. That's on the slab, by the way, all that crap they got on there. Classic, a grading company getting stuff on the slab. Who would have thought? I also have Maze of Millennia booster boxes available as well. I didn't actually grab those, but the most recent set, Maze of Millennia, I know Phantom Nightmare comes out in a couple of days, and we're probably doing a stream very, very soon. We're also doing a Whatnot stream on Friday, so make sure you come and hang out for that. And uh, a lot of this stuff, if it isn't bought, will be available on that stream as well. So keep an eye out for that. Use my link down below, get $15 for free. We also have some PSA graded cards. So here's a PSA 10 number C39 Utopia Ray Victory. So this is a Jim Mint Ultimate Rare First Edition from Judgment of the Light. Very nice card. Uh, I'm not going to talk about every single card because we do have a lot of cards. We have a Ghost Rare, Blue Eyes, White Dragon to go along with the Dark Magician so you could get both. This one did get a Gym Mint. Gym Mint 9. Mint 9. Different. Completely different. Did not get a Gym Mint 10. These are... I don't even know if there's ever been one graded in Gym Mint 10 because they have these little dots on there. You guys can see that. And that's why this one got a 9. So 9 might be the highest grade ever for that card. So pretty cool. Guardian Seal. This is a Dark Crisis first set from one of our boxes we opened up. Gym Mint 10. So great condition. We have a Dark Master Zork we also pulled. This is a super rare. that got a Gym Mint 10. Here is the infamous Flame Swordsman that PSA uh, refunded me a bunch of money for because they damaged it up here. Shout out to them for correcting an error that they made, so that was really nice of them. Uh, it sucked that they damaged it, but it was great that they actually gave me a credit toward my next thing. They, they could have paid me out, but I said just credit my next one. So that was nice of them. I'm glad that happened, except for the fact that I got an eight instead of a probable 10. So that one is available. Gonna be a lot cheaper for you guys though, if you wanna grab it. Then we have an ultimate rare Tragodia. This is one we pulled out of Turbo Pack 4, graded to PSA 10. Very cool. It's the only ultimate rare in the set, so I don't know how many of these there are. I'm guessing the pop is not super high on this. Very cool ultimate rare, very classic Edison style card. Then we have Vujinki Amaterasu. This is the primal origin ghost rare, and this is not a ghost, this is the ultimate, but there's a ghost ulti and an, a secret, I think, in that set. So here's the ultimate rare PSA 10, first edition, very cool. Then we have, speaking of cards that have ultra, well, this one has ultra ghost ulti in Cosmo Blazer, number 92 Hard Earth Dragon. We have PSA 10 of that, it's unlimited. Then we have a Butterfly Dagger Elma, another one from Dark Crisis. I have a lot of supers from Dark Crisis still for some reason, I don't know why, but PSA 10, very cool. Then we have the Legendary Polymerization PSA 9. We pulled this out of a $1,000 pack, it's now worth probably a quarter of that. So yeah, you go ahead and grab it. You save all the 750 by just buying it for me. So very cool, uh, PSA 9, unfortunately. I did get PSA 10 on one of mine, which is exciting, so I'm keeping that one. Then we have the Spellbook of Fate, Ultimate Rare, PSA 9. We have the Chain Destruction, a little bit of a fade going here on the PSA 9, pretty cool. We've got another faded card, super faded, Catapult Turtle MRD first. This is another one, it's PSA not or PSA 8, so probably be pretty expensive because it's faded and for whatever reason those are crazy faded collectors are nuts fade cards are cool but the collectors of it they get crazy then we have a 9 oc question very cool grade you don't see 9 oc very often got a psa 9 it's also way off center so they give it the oc uh qualifier they never do that anymore so pretty cool uh, mirror wall PSA 9 for Pharaoh Servant. Very beautiful card. We have an Infernity Destroyer PSA 9. This is from the Shining Darkness First Edition. An Ultimate Rare Hero Flash PSA 9. Pretty cool card, actually. Hero Flash. You know, everybody loves heroes. It's pretty awesome. 
a chain disappearance from turbo pack six tried to grade all these turbo pack hollows and we got a bunch of nines speaking of we got turbo pack six fishborn blaster got a nine we didn't get a bunch of nines we got nines and also an eight an eight fishborn blaster we have yellow gadget psa nine i think i just had this one i didn't actually pull it but that's from turbo pack as well speaking of high ranking champion packs though champion pack game six gym mint 10 blaze accelerator i've had this one for a while Pretty nice card, super rare, but it's PSA 10, so that's really, really cool. So that one's available. Then we have an MFC First Ed, Too Bad It's Not Dark Magician Girl, the Amazon of Swords Woman. Unfortunately, this is not the one we got out of the box because that box was brutal. That one got an, I mean, I didn't even grade that one because it was a nine, but Amazon of Swords Woman First Ed. It's a pretty expensive card, actually. An Ultimate Rare Elemental Hero Aqua Neos First Edition from Power of the Duelist. And we have an error gold letter guy of the dragon champion. We actually pulled this one a few years ago and then it graded a 10. So got really lucky. I pulled it out of a blister, I think. And then it got a PSA 10. So it's not only is it an error, it's also a PSA 10. So really, really cool secret rare there. Then we have a big one. The Cyber in Dragon Ultimate Rare. So I graded this, you guys remember several months ago and got lucky. Like it used to be a nine, became a 10. And I thought it was a 10 the first time. I think we got gypped, but we ended up getting the 10, which was pretty amazing. This card is the most expensive card that we're selling. This one I did not pull. So a lot of time when I'm trying to decide, okay, if I need to sell something, what do I need to sell? Usually first goes the cards I didn't pull. If I pull the card, it's almost no way that I'm gonna like sell it. If it's like one big card, like if I pulled this card, I wouldn't be selling it, but I didn't pull it and it would, you know, it's a really expensive card. It would help out a lot. So Cyber In, this is a card that there's a few cards in here where once I get to the amount I need, then it's not going to be for sale anymore because I would, I would like to keep it. But at the same time, if it helps out, you know, if it helps out in something you really need, then it's okay. And it'll go toward a good cause. Cause usually anytime I sell something like that, like I sold my Black Rose a couple years ago, PSA 10, some of you guys don't even know that you think I still have it. I sold it. And I have missed it a little bit, but I don't regret it because what it went toward was really important and really helpful for the channel and just everything I need to do. So I'll feel the same way about the Cyber End Dragon. I don't necessarily want to sell it, but sometimes you got to sell stuff. And speaking of stuff like that, here's something that I want to sell even less than the Cyber End. But if I do sell it and it helps out, it'll it'll be worth it. The Lugia first appearance. You guys have seen this many times on the channel. It's one of my it is my favorite Pokemon card ever made. I really like the card. The thing is, this card is now worth $2,800. So it's very expensive. When I first acquired it, I acquired it at a $100 value in a trade. So that was back in 2018 or 19. So that was back when cards were not this expensive. It is now ballooned up to $2,800 because the Pokemon communities figured it out. They really like this card. They're really hard to get in like even like a seven grade. The nines are going like $15,000. So if there's ever a time to part with a card that you really like, it's when it's worth 28 times as much as when you got it. So if somebody is interested in this and I, it's before I get what I need, this will be one I, I pull back if we get enough money and stuff like that. So this will be for sale for a limited time. So if you want to grab this up for me, you got to do it quick. So Lugia first appearance, very cool card. That's not it though. That's all our graded cards though. There are a few boxes that I have for sale. So here, they're a little bit older boxes. We have Legacy of the Valiant First Edition. These I will be selling for an opening. So if you want me to do an opening on the channel, they'll be for sale. I'm not going to sell them otherwise because otherwise I could make content out of them, you know. So if you guys want to buy and have it opened, which a few of you guys have done before, that'd be fantastic. And I will be willing to do that with you guys. So there's a few of them I have available like that. We also have a Primal Origin First Edition. So these are kind of in the Zexel era you know, like 10, 12 years old, stuff like that. We have an unlimited Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy. First out of these are like crazy hard to find, but unlimited are still pretty expensive. So this one will be available. If we could pull that and unlimited, be cool. I've pulled the first dead. We opened like 300 packs to get it. I remember you could actually get those packs at an affordable rate a few years ago, but now you can't even find them. Then we have a Cosmo Blazer first edition box. So very cool box. These are boxes I've kind of had like laying around. I really like the boxes and I'm like, you know, I should probably sell them, you know, maybe for an opening or something. Then I'm like, eh, maybe not. I've I've held back on my Duelist Alliance box. That box, I think, is going to stay in the collection. I really like the green on it. I think it looks beautiful. That one probably doesn't go up for sale ever. We also have an order of chaos first edition box so that's pretty cool as well and shadow specter is not the most like desirable set but it's aged fairly well with how it started people thought it was the worst set ever and it does have some cool cards in it. i really like the ghost i think it's really nice i also have galactic overlord first ed i think we did an unlimited opening of this one time the first ed box is now available this this one's actually i feel like it's like 400 bucks pretty expensive box i mean it's a pretty nice Pretty nice looking box. I'm not going to lie. I really like the uh, Neo Galaxy as Photon Dragon. It's a pretty fire looking card. And the last 
box we have right here is a first edition return of the duelist. This is one we've had great luck with. Pulled like four ghost rares out of here. Not first edition though. I feel, I feel like they're normally unlimited. Maybe we pulled a first dead. Not totally sure, but I feel like most of the time they're unlimited. So all those will be available if you want an opening on the channel. It would be fantastic. I also have a few empty boxes that I'm going to show you right here. Unlimited Labyrinth the Nightmare. First dead Labyrinth of the Nightmare. Unlimited 36. These are all 36. We got. Another 36 first dead. We have, we've opened a lot of first dead Labyrinth of the Nightmare, apparently. Unlimited. A lot of 36 pack, not so many hobbies. Some of these have sold, though. We have Unlimited Pharaoh Servant, Rise of Destiny. Got a couple of those, which are not, you know, super crazy, but they're Rise of Destiny. They're pretty cool. Uh, Flaming Eternity, first edition. We've got Force of the Breaker. You can see we have Dark Crisis and lots of Enemy of Justice from back in the day. Those are the ones that we opened for... Shining Phoenix and Forcer and never got it. And that was like three or four years ago. There's Ancient Sanctuary, Extreme Victory, Soul of the Duelist, more of that. We got Tactical Evolution. Down here we got Cybernetic Revolution, Lost Millennium. What is this? Another Flaming Eternity. Anything below. I think that's all Enemy of Justice down there. We got some Legacy Darkness for a Guardian. Bunch of Metal Raiders. It's not all, it's just one Portuguese. The rest is other unlimited or first dead regular Metal Raiders. And I think there's an unlimited LOB down there. So. All this stuff, if you want empty booster boxes, will be available as well. All right, so that's it for everything in this video. Uh, there's a lot for sale. If you guys are interested in anything, check out ruxin34.com. Message me via email. Email is better than Instagram because I can kind of keep track of it a little bit better. Instagram sometimes will like make my messages just disappear. I'm looking for somebody. I've marked it. I have it marked and I search the name. It still doesn't come up. So do me a favor. Do email. Do uh, ruxin34.com or whatnot. And I appreciate you guys supporting by purchasing anything, being becoming a member, anything that you guys do watching the channel all that is really supportive and i appreciate you guys so much hopefully you guys enjoy this it's a little bit of a switch up we've done a video like this but it's been a few years so maybe it'll be fun to see some stuff that i have for sale if you're not someone who goes to the whatnot streams or whatever you can kind of just see it here but that's about it for this video i appreciate you guys make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content that doesn't involve selling stuff we'll just be opening the brand new set tomorrow i believe or maybe it's two days phantom nightmares coming out this week it's very exciting it's a big set we should be opening a lot of it so i'll see you guys for that shout out to Tom info show puffins the doom ernesto dn America Deutster, another toy show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Changalang, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.